Beata's essay. This is High Priestess Yashodara Singh. Welcome number one. For those of you uh, who are born on the 1st, the 19th, um, the 10th, please add up your birth date, not the month or the year. And if your birth date adds up to a number one, you're in the right place because this video covers the predictions for the month of March 2024. The central theme of the month is described with the help of three cards from three different decks. You have the Akashic Oracle, the Chakra Oracle, and we are using the Angel deck as the Oracle card for this month. The four weeks in the month are described with the help of four cards from three, four different decks. You have the Wicca, you have the Gilded deck, you have the beautiful Golden Wheel and the Dragons, the Dragon Tarot. Alright, let's begin with the central theme number one. You've pulled out one of my favorite cards, Archangel Raphael, the card of destiny and the four of fire. So it looks like a project is going to be completed this month that is definitely happening. Um, fire is remember associated with spirit and this is a wand card. So uh, there is abundance, there is contentment, there is happiness, there is peace, a happy family life. Everything is good here. You might even be a part of a celebration, either conducting or attending one, but there's good news in the horizon for you, number one. I am so happy for you. Destiny, another card. This is a very profound card, okay? Now, standalone, this word means, um, well, you know, destiny is, you need to add something to it. For example, um, I could say that in this month, you are the creator of your destiny, which means watch your thoughts, watch how you feel, Watch where your energy is focused. Don't compare. Don't overthink things. Go for the gold and stay focused and create your destiny. I would like to say that this is what this card means, right? You are destined to create your destiny there. That's a sentence to live with. Archangel Raphael, a beautiful card. Remember, I've taught you, you have four archangels. Whoever you are, you are and wherever you are from. 24 7 there are four archangels that surround you you're here see this is you right there is Raphael in front there's Gabriel or Gabriel in the back there's Mikhail or Michael to your right and Uriel or Uriel in the left right so that's green a purple blue and orange so this month you will definitely feel that you are the designated healer doesn't mean that you can professionally be a healer but it does mean that you will learn that your presence itself helps a lot of people you might feel drained out in terms of energy you might feel that you have to pump people up with positivity and you feel that you're not left with any for yourself so know when to cut back know when to rest and recover i'm not saying don't be there for others you must but be there for yourself first Always go by that rule, you'll never regret it. The first week of March 2024. Number one, you've pulled out the Seven of Swords, the Six of Wands, the Devil card, and the Six of Cups. Six seems to be an important number for you for this week, for the first week. Seven of Swords tells me that either you're deceiving someone or someone is deceiving you. This card also means that you need to change your strategy. Remember, it also came um, in the general prediction. So for some of you, there has to be a change in the direction um, that you were taking in terms of following a path, a way of working, a routine, a strategy. Okay, so you need to change that. Six of, uh, sorry, six of wands. We use this card a lot in spell casting. This card is a card of victory and triumph. Now it doesn't matter how small or big the victory is, but a victory is a victory is a victory. So there is something in which you have won and you are happy about it. Uh, don't gloat over it or boast over it but silently do congratulate yourself on it and then move forward and of course don't rest on your laurels but this is something to celebrate so congratulations on that score the devil card tells me that you could be a capri or dealing with one this card also means that uh, there is something that is of an addictive nature sort of a decomposing habit that you need to get rid of because it's a ball and chain around your ankle let me explain it doesn't necessarily have to be uh, drugs and alcohol and smoking and gambling it can also be other stuff deeper stuff for example negativity practicing dark magic uh, comparison overthinking um, pessimism um, an attitude of uh, 
uh, I will teach you a lesson. You know, anything that brings the vibes down and doesn't make you feel good, okay, um, that is an addiction. And that's what the devil card denotes. So you need to get it out of your system and get it out of your life, throw it far away and make sure it's not a boomerang because this is something that if it is showing up in your rating, then you need to tackle it right away, right? You know what it is. We're all unique in, our, in terms of our life paths. Figure it out and fix it. And all of us have it. So don't say, no, there's nothing wrong. It's, it's there. Six of Cups. So, um, well, uh, memories of the past will come rushing back in bits and pieces in the month of March. Memories of childhood, nostalgia uh, is going to hit you for sure. Somebody from the past may also land up in your current life. Now, I don't mean to poke the bear here, but if uh, you do welcome somebody back into your life, the re-entry is always with a motive. So make sure that your trust is not given in a silver tray, right? The second week of uh, March 2024, number one, you've pulled out the five of coins or the five of pentacles, the hanged man, the hermit, and the page of cups. Lots of major arcana cards. You do have the blessings of the angels. Five of coins, a card I will never ever like. This is a card of uh, poverty thinking. So you <clears throat> are silently telling yourself, if not openly, I can't afford this. This is not in my budget. Um, it's too expensive. Now remember, when you say these kind of things, the universe thinks that you want to go through experiences where things are presented to you which are so expensive that it doesn't fit your budget. And you'll be upset about it because it's exactly what's going to happen. You know why? Because the universe gives you what you're saying, not what you don't want to attract. So even if you say, I don't want to go through experiences or I don't want to like that expensive item because it's not in my budget, the universe doesn't listen to the I don't want. The universe just removes the entire sentence and keeps that expensive thing that you were looking at and will keep presenting things and items and experiences so that you keep feeling bad and keep feeling like you're not rich enough and when I say not rich enough it means your purchasing power your budget is incapacitated you don't have that kind of flexibility in spending right very simple thing just switch it so um, for example, if there is uh, an expensive item that you've zeroed in on, don't even think about or tell yourself silently that, no, 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 that's too much, right? If there is no utility and expensive items don't really have a utility, in my opinion, uh, you can say that's a waste of money and I respect blue magic enough to know that that's a waste of money that's one way of putting it it's a great great thing you can write it down and you can practice that another thing that you can say is it's a pretty thing but i think it looks better on the shop shelf so because i have tried it over the years and i have seen that it works if you like something it doesn't mean you need to have it because that's where ego starts playing a role right but this is a very dangerous place to be in because your vibes, your financial vibes are very important to attract the right kind of experience and five of coins is not the way to go. So please snap out of it. The hand man tells me that either you or the universe are causing procrastinations, delays uh, in the journey that you've undertaken. Having said that, please remind yourself that these are not permanent delays. A delay is always temporary. That journey is on, but there is a stop gap. There is a, uh, a, a, slow, a slowness in the speed that you might experience. And that is the time when you need to keep uh, at the self-positive talk to ensure that you don't go off track. The Hermit card is next, which tells me that you could be a Virgo or dealing with one. This card also means that you need to self-introspect, which means look within yourself and see if you can answer the questions that really require to be answered. For example, are you in the right path? Are you moving in the right direction? Is this where you want it to be? Um, is there anyone else? Is there anywhere else that uh, you choose to be or need to be? And of course, the most dangerous one, are you happy? 
right? So ask yourself these questions and that's what you need to do in the month of March in the second week. Page of Cups tells me that uh, you will be receiving an emotional message or giving off one. This card is also uh, typical of a very young and youthful energy that you'll be surrounded with, of course, somebody in your family or uh, somebody with female energy. It could be your daughter, your niece, your uh, uh, younger sister, cousin or, you know, real sister. But definitely somebody is going to be receiving some kind of award or reward. That's happening. Congratulations. And I hope that's true for you. The third week of uh, March 2024, Number one, you've pulled out the Tower card, the Temperance card, the Temperance card again, and the Two of Cups. Let's take the double card first. So, you know the rule position. If there are two cards that have come up, I'm going to put the beautiful one in front. Isn't that glorious? This is a card that I respect the most. Uh, this is a card of the Zodiac sign Sagittarius. So, you could be a Sagittarian or dealing with one. This card also means that something in your life is terribly disbalanced. You need to balance it out. I'll give you a couple of examples. If you fit in it, great. If you don't, figure out what it is for yourself. Let me help you. Um, could be you are stressing out more. And in reality, you just made a mountain out of a molehill. Maybe you are working too hard and not allowing yourself to recover. Maybe you're trying to prove a point and uh, flogging a dead horse. Maybe you are biting off more than you can chew. Maybe um, you want more than what you need. So it could be anything, right? Um, it's not that you're harming anyone per se, but if you are being, if you're trying to justify your limited energy, time and capacity, um, then understand that if the temperance card has come twice and if you're not a Sagittarian or dealing with one then that means that you need to uh, take onus, take responsibility for fixing what is disbalanced because if this has come it means you need to fix it before things go out of hand and when things go out of hand then you waste a lot of time and of course that's that stupid word called regret comes in the tower card is here to say that something that you were expecting to end um, over a period of time or a little later is going to end now after the initial shock of um, the ground moving from beneath your feet you need to get up and tell yourself I'm going to walk through the flames and I'm going to be stronger like the strongest diamond and I assure you that's exactly what's going to happen remember at times like this you owe it not just to yourself but also to the people around you who expect your shoulder to be strong enough to bear their weight, right? Remind yourself that a thousand times in the day and I promise you, you will become that. Two of Cups tells me that, well, if you're in the market, then uh, marriage is on the cards, a relationship is definitely on, partnership, moving in, boyfriend, girlfriend, um, engagement, commitment. You could also be entering a partnership, right? But it's going to be an emotional move and a good one. And it's going to work in your favor as well. The last week of uh, March 2024, number one, you've pulled out the two of coins or the two of pentacles, the death card, the queen of swords and the two of cups again. So something is happening definitely in your life. Number one, if there are wedding bells, congratulations in advance. If there's a partnership, congratulations in advance. But there's something good that's happening that's going to be in two. So there will be definitely some kind of a um, unison so it could be uh, like I said at work or at home or both and it's come in the third and the fourth week the queen of swords tells me that you could be a Gemini or dealing with one this card also means that you are uh, going to be a little more don't go by the gender right you could be a male also you are going to be a little stern because the the journey that you've undertaken that result is uh, a direct finger that's pointed towards you so you feel responsible and accountable and that's why you're being a little more stern than you usually are. Don't be too hard on yourself. This is something that you are not. So nobody define you like so, right? So let this journey end and then come back to your normal self. Ah, this card is also 
uh, for someone who's a widower or a divorcee. The death card tells me that you could be a Scorpio dealing with one. This card means that you need to put an end to your belief system because it's not working anymore. The last card for this month for you, number one, is two of coins. And two of coins or two of pentacles is here to say you will be making money um, from multiple avenues and you will profit from each and every one of them. I'm so happy for you. Having said that, you might burn out in terms of energy. So do not have that breakdown. Ensure you have your ORS or your hot water, lemon, honey and pink salt. But whatever it takes, ensure that you're hydrated, rested and recovered so that you can enjoy the benefits of this month for you. I'm excited for you, number one. After a long time, you've got a really, really good spread. Um, I will see you in the month of March until then, uh, in the month of April, I'm sorry. Uh, until then, enjoy the month of March. Be strong, be there and be you. Love, light and knowledge to you all. Be at this essay and Om Sarve Bhavantu Sukhina.